Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This will be a channel dedicated to Ethiopian politics and issues surrounding Ethiopia. On this channel I'll be sharing information, analysis, research and news. All these will emanate from scholarly articles, research papers and the media of course. This type of presentation will be informal and sometimes formal. The presentations are mostly from my online lectures that I give. I'll begin with an informal presentation on a short video of a statement made by the late Meles Zenawi. This video was circa 1998, prior to the start of the Ethio-Eritrean War when Eritreans were being expelled from Ethiopia. In this video, Meles states, and I paraphrase here, if the Ethiopian government asks people to leave the country merely based on the color of their eyes, then those people should take heed to the orders and leave the country without raising a single question on the matter. And now, for a raw direct translation, if the Ethiopian government states that they do not like the color of your eyes, and they tell you to leave the country, then you should leave without raising the question of peace or anything else. This is the best direct translation of which I've received, and hopefully it captures the statement pretty well. 1998 was not the only occasion in which Mendes gave a racist statement. In 1991, he gave an interview to a Tigray newspaper stating how he was proud to have been born of the Golden People and not the Rug. The Golden People in this case were the Tigray people and the Rug were other Ethiopian ethnic groups. This statement of course angered many Ethiopians because it was very exclusionary and demeaning in manner. It reflected how he saw the Tigray people above every other Ethiopian ethnic group and that the Tigrays were superior to other Ethiopian ethnic groups. In another speech he gave in the early 1990s in Tigray, He states he's glad to have been created from the Tigray people and he further goes on to thank them for being uniquely Tigray and that he is glad they are not like other ethnic groups. <laughs> The very intriguing aspect of these statements is that they give us an insight into the cognitive perception of Meles Zenawi. The statements he made were very inflammatory, racist, and genocidal in nature. Some of you might point out that he was referring to an ethnic group and therefore he cannot be classified as racist. Well, the idea of being prejudiced and discriminatory over a person or a group of people based on their identity or features is racist. The Webster Dictionary states that racism is the idea or poor treatment or of or violence against people because of their race. Second, the belief that some races of people are better than others. His statements echo well beyond the boundaries of Ethiopia or a particular ethnic group because it's general in nature. It goes back to the early centuries of racism, segregation, Jim Crow, apartheid, Nazi ideology, and so forth. All these systems supported the idea of judging, hating, and killing people based on features, identities. In the US, it was based through Jim Crow and segregation laws. In Nazi Germany, the state itself sought the killing of millions. Like Nazi ideology, apartheid was part of the system. All of them represented the epitome of racism and made sure racism was acted through their systems, mostly through institutions. So why did I bring all these systems and tie it in with Mele Zenawi? Well, he did lead the country for 20 odd years and of those 20 years, 10 of which he led on his own. The nature of his leadership and personality have repeatedly reflected his ethnic affinity and belief in ethnic superiority. In fact, most of the accusations brought against him was based on the fact that he was discriminatory and prejudiced against other ethnic groups. Often compared with other Ethiopian leaders, even with Mengistu Hailemara, Meles is often portrayed as being unpatriotic and a racist leader. 
It's not that they do not abhor or hate Mengistu, but the argument they all put forward is that the idea that Mengistu did not kill Ethiopians based on ethnicity, but rather based on political differences. Thus, Malice's love for his Tigray identity and hate for other ethnic groups, and particularly the Amhara, is often cited as the reason why he was never fit to be an Ethiopian leader. Now there are of course numerous other statements which I did not include, but they all have the same gist of trajectory as the statements I presented earlier. As a prime minister leading a country of 80 ethnic groups, professing his love and pride for his ethnic group and degrading others is abnormal indeed. The very idea of course does not make Meles alone in the realm of racist leaders, but rather reflects that he is among the top tyrannical leaders with ethnic affinity. Let us take it in the context of the US today. If Obama was to come out and say how proud he was of being born of the golden people and not the rug, and the golden people here being black people, and the rug being other Americans, what would the atmosphere of America be? Think of the media frenzy, the anger, it would be nothing short of a revolution. This brings into the question that some of you might ask. So if Malazinawi was racist or an ethno-nationalist, does that mean that Ethiopia was and still is based on favoring a particular ethnic group? Yes, as a system, ethnic federalism is instituted in the country. That's another video of which I'll cover. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.